So good evening, everybody, and it is evening. <laughs> um, I'm Tony Hines. I'm the commercial director of Aurelia Turbines. Aurelia, we're commercializing the world's most efficient small gas turbine in its size. And that, I'm not going to go into all of the technical details of how we've achieved that. Glad to talk about that uh, later on downstairs. But what I'm going to do is tell you why this is such an important product and who's actually going to take it. The technology itself is actually founded on over 30 years of development by the Lappin Ranta University of Technology. So a very sound design, very proven uh, uh, testing, and a very robust team that we've been working with over the years. But let me tell you who's going to buy this. So if you look at an example of a country in Europe, Germany this happens to be, the market that really is not being served very well as regards uh, distributed generation is the small-scale process industries and the SMEs. Why is that? It's because the, the actual size of their load and their processes and the requirement for either steam, hot water, or chilling, there isn't a good match of, of existing technology that's out there. But if you look at those percentage numbers, both in the electrical side and the thermal requirement, it is a very large market. And this model, this pie chart, is uh, reflected all across Europe and across the rest of the world to one degree or another. But it shows that there is a very large demand for thermal energy and electrical energy, and this market sector is consistently growing. So what type of customers are those? You know, we, talk, we throw that term SMEs out there and uh, the process industry. These chairs are made with electricity, apart from the materials. They need electricity and they need thermal energy to actually make them. Cakes, dyes, all of these types of products that we come into every day that touch our lives, they all use both either electricity and steam, electricity and chilling, in the, a lot of the cases of food processing, or electricity and hot water. And if you, when we've spoken to the customers who have these processes, they've really found it very difficult to improve on the next level of energy efficiency. So what they've done is they've said, look, we, we've, we've got a requirement for steam, we've got a requirement for hot water or chilling, and we've got the, um, the desire to actually improve our operating, lower our operating costs and, costs and improve our efficiency. But the solutions that are out there really just don't fit us. We do work with the utilities, but because we're an SME and not that big, we haven't got any clout. We're not a big steel mill. We don't get great tariffs. And on the heat side, well, we just get the natural gas or the oil delivered here, and we put it through that old boiler that's over there, and we have to service it every once in a while. So it, they really understand that combined heat and power, which has been around for many years, is something that they could benefit from, and it would deliver them savings. So what are the technologies that are open to them today? Well, there are engines, massive big companies that produce engines. There are industrial gas turbines, and then there are micro turbines. But if we look at the engines, the engines actually give you a good efficiency, but they don't give you enough thermal power to raise steam and the other types of thermal requirements that are there. The gas turbines, good efficiency, lower operating costs, very sophisticated needs on maintenance, but they produce too much electricity. So the SME market size, the, the batch process people, don't actually have enough. Uh, they have too much power and they have to export it, which is then a totally different business model. Micro turbines in the middle could be a solution, but if you look at the, uh, what efficiency means, because they are low in efficiency, as in low 30s, it means the paybacks are way out there into the future, and no CFO is going to sign that off. If you look at the Aurelia turbine, which has got efficiencies in excess of 40%, the payback periods have dropped dramatically, and now it's an option. So I wasn't going to go into all of the technical uh, side of it. We do have a prototype. We are a startup. We've gone through research. We've gone through development. And we're on the cusp of commercialization. 
Happy to talk about that later on, as I said, downstairs. However, we have now got our first order, and we've got another pipeline of orders coming up as well. Our, our delivery partners will be, we buy significant components and assemble them in, uh, in our facility and then ship them out to the end customers. So we're maximizing the advances and the efficiencies with all of those key partners. We also have a marketing partner in GE. This is a brand new initiative that uh, has been started by GE Energy in Helsinki, and we're just at the early stages of that, so we're really excited to be working with them, and we'll report at the next Eco Summit how that's panning out. The team, I won't go through each of the people, but there's a lot of years of experience, ranging from Siemens, GE, turbine companies, uh, salts of pumps, and also Nokia. And we've brought all of these different disciplines together and experience together, and there have been a few failures in there as well. And bringing that all together, we've got a good chemistry with a good knowledge base. So thank you for listening to me. At the pitch right at the end is we have just gone through a financing round. We have actually closed on some grant money, but we are looking for further investment uh, round about two tranches, one of two and one of three million. So with that, thank you. Cool.